on this video, we're gonna go to a place called Peace Cafe here in Honolulu, Hawaii. This is actually our friend's friend's place. This is a very popular vegan restaurant here in Honolulu. We heard good things about this place. We cannot wait to try it out. This is a place we've been meaning to come for the longest time, so we're really excited to be here today. And for the locals in Hawaii, I'm sure you guys know this place because all my friends here mm -hmm. know about this place and they all say good things. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, This place is award-winning restaurant. Yes, award-winning vegan restaurant. We also know that there are many vegans out there that watch our videos, so this one is especially for you guys. So they have a really interesting menu here and I have a feeling that even though we're not vegans, so we're gonna like the food mm -hmm. here. It's really nice and cozy in here. It's very green. Like my t-shirt. <laughs> like your t-shirt, yeah. We ordered three drinks. Yeah. This is Kinako Latte, Yuzu Lemonade with Strawberry. And this is the Pipeline Smoothie. Cheers! Mmm. Mm. Oh. It's a very good with oat milk flavor and the kinako taste. Yeah. And Can you taste the kinako? Yeah. 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 Oh, and this is super refreshing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. This one is like super easy to drink. Like mm. even if you don't like veggie juice, I think you will like this. It's sweet, but not in an unnatural way. It's just delicious. So first dish is katsu curry. Katsu regularly we use pork meat. They are using tofu or tempeh. Or uh, you can mix half and half. Uh, today's one is half and half. So this is a curry sauce. And this side, it's using tofu inside of this katsu. And this side, it's tempeh. Tempeh is a fermented soybean. It comes with a variety of vegetables, tomato, lettuce, cabbage, bro uh, alfalfa, and broccoli. Of course, under the curry sauce, there is a rice. Mm. It's really good curry. In this curry sauce, there is umami flavor. Little bit kick taste is really like Japanese curry. This one is a tofu katsu. Mm. Outside is nicely crispy. Tofu pulp is soft. It has a little bit of texture. They added some kind of flavor seasoned with something. It's really like katsu. The tempeh is a fermented soybeans. Different texture from tofu one. Softer and a little crumbly. But taste also is very good. Mmm! Mmm! That must be a mushroom with the rice. And I'm gonna try it with the tempeh katsu. A little bit of that right on top. Mmm! Mmm! Mm -hmm. When you have all the components in one bite, it's amazing. You can hardly tell that it's not meat. And the curry sauce is so good. They use a good blend of spices. And I believe they're using some kind of um, grain rice, like five grain rice, there's brown rice, there's red rice inside. So it, you know, it has this really nice texture as well. Oh, this is good. So this one is the piece sampler that they recommend for first timers. And this is just a sampling of uh, a, a lot of different things. So that is the rice. You see, it's like a five grain rice. Uh, that's some kind of, um, I don't know what that is. And, and this is carrots, you got bean sprouts, uh, cucumber. This is hijiki seaweed. You got alfalfa, tomato, you got a whole bunch of greens here. And I believe this is uh, their uh, tofu scramble. You got some nori. This is your tofu poke. And this is some kind of greens, but wow. Look at this, so good for the body. You can already tell. So let's go for it. You know, I'm gonna start with the tofu scramble, sorry. Right here, tofu scramble. So this is supposed to be like a vegan scrambled egg. Wow, it reminds me of a scrambled egg. Like the texture of scrambled egg. But the taste is definitely tofu. But it's not like beany or anything and it seasons really, really well. I think they might be using some mochi rice in here, I don't know. And I want to eat it with some of this here. The meat looking thing, maybe some carrots and some bean sprouts and cucumber to make it kind of like bibimbap. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it may look really simple, but it's seasoned really well. The carrots are seasoned with um, like sesame oil, sesame seeds, and that meat is also quite flavorful. 
Oh, it's delicious. It's like teriyaki flavor. Finally, I want to try this tofu poke. This sampling of their poke. Instead of raw fish, they're using tofu. Mmm. Interestingly, it has a flavoring of poke. Yeah. It's delicious. It's not like strong, strong flavor, but it's really good. Okay, one final bite. I just want to kind of like mix a whole bunch of ingredients together, like the greens and the nori, maybe a little bit of the hijiki seaweed, and a little bit of their maybe avocado. It's like guacamole, and then eat it with the rice. Mmm, mmm. Kind of reminds me of bibimbap. You know, all the textures and flavors. I'm glad I got to try this one. I don't know which one I like more though. The katsu one is definitely like really good. <laughs> and this one's also really good. This one's fresher. This is more like a, I don't know, like veggie salad, bibimbap. Whereas the katsu one is very hearty and meaty. This one is the Hanoi sandwich with fried tofu and peanut sauce. Okay, it comes in this uh, homemade bread that they have here. And then I'm gonna open it up to show you guys what it looks like. Oh, a lot of vegetables in here. And that is probably the tofu. I see tofu. And some kind of like miso sauce. I don't know, it could be peanut anything. Sauce. Peanut sauce. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Oh. That's mm. so flavorful. I love that peanut sauce. Interesting. The peanut sauce is working like miso. It's like miso, mm. caramelized miso, yeah. yeah. It matches with this tofu taste mm. and other cucumber or carrots, mm -hmm. vegetables. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. A lot of different textures, really, really fresh. And the bread is fantastic. Mm. It's crusty mm. on the outside, mm. but it's mm. fluffy, it's not dry. It's a really good sandwich. The bread is really mm. good. <laughs> I love the bread. Obviously, we had to get dessert. We got two. This is the mochi cake. This is a strawberry one. They also had a matcha one, but I thought, why not do strawberry today? And then we're gonna pour over some chocolate sauce that they gave us. So pour this over. Oh, look at that. That looks like a brownie. Right over here, we have the vegan cheesecake. cheesecake. The cheese part is made with cashew, and the cake part is made with four kinds of nuts. Cashew, almonds, walnuts, and I, uh, macadamia nuts. Let's try this one first. Go ahead. Okay. This is the mochi cake. And I believe this is inspired by Hawaii's butter mochi. Oh, mmm. Wow, mmm, that is mochi. It's like butter mochi, but not buttery. The butter mochi and brownie. Yeah, yeah, a little bit like butter mochi and brownie. Mm. Mm. And it has a little bit of tartness from the uh, strawberry, strawberry. Mm. but the chocolate sauce is what makes it sweet. The crusty part kind of reminds me of a brownie, this part right here. Mm -hmm. And then we're, we're gonna go for the cheesecake, the one made with uh, cashew nuts. It's almost like cheesecake, cheesecake. ice cream. Mm. Mm. It has a little bit of the sourness, mm. or tartness of cheesecake. Yep. Mm. Yep. It is like cheese. Yeah. Like yogurt, yogurt and yeah. cheese. Um, which one do you like better? I choose the, the butter cake. mochi. Mm -hmm. The butter. Uh, yeah. Sorry. The mochi cake. Yes, I like the butter mochi. Yeah. I like the brownie yeah. like texture. Actually, actually, um, I I prefer this one. Um, the cheesecake is good too. Mm. Both is good. But this one, this uh, not butter mochi, I keep saying butter mochi, the mochi cake is very unique. I am stuffed. That was a lot of food. Yes, yet. yes, yes. <laughs> the, my image of vegan food uh, light mm -hmm. and not enough to satisfy. satisfy. <laughs> yeah. But this place, it's totally different. It's hearty and delicious. Very nice vegan meals. but. You don't have to think it is vegan because the dishes are very delicious as it is. I actually used to be vegan for a few years, way before YouTube days. And so I know what vegan food can be like. They can be boring, predictable, 
you know, and kind of flavorless. So um, the food here really, really wowed me, especially the katsu curry. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. that was amazing. I can guarantee that this dish will satisfy the non-vegan as well. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, yeah. that good. What was your What was your favorite dish anyway? The curry. The curry. Yeah, yeah curry. mine too. Mine too. And my second favorite was the bibimbap. Um, that was not. Not the bibimbap, sampler. I had the, the sampler. <laughs> sampler. It was kind of like bibimbap though. Anyway guys, definitely check this place out. Like I said, uh, this is a friend of a friend's shop. They've been doing business for 11 years. They're pretty famous throughout the island of Oahu. I mean, all our friends, our local friends know about it. It was just us that we've never been here. And so happy that we got finally got to try it out. Uh, give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoy videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye guys.